Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, today I have a new project. I'm uh, taking an old project and trying to update it, making it easier for installation and maintenance. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's go over to GitHub over here and let's go into my repositories here and this is the new project Julia and what it's doing is I'm taking the Julie Julie code my virtual assistant and this runs a program called VOSC uh, and the VOSC or program or module I should say it's a Python module that's installed with pip and what it does is uh, it takes a speech from the microphone and turns it into text so it's a speech to text engine and there's a model associated with it also and so I'm starting this new project here called Julia and I'm trying to uh, do a couple of things here I, I'm trying to uh, use uh, something called Jenkins for continuous integration. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that, but uh, I have it installed and I'm going to see if, it, if it's helpful or not. Uh, the other thing is that I'm using Docker. And uh, so for the first part of this, uh, let's see, this is the wrong, this is the wrong branch here. Let's go to this we go to the development branch here. And so AlphaSep has something called the uh, called the Vosk server. And here's the link. If you go to my page here, this uh, github.com Mikey B slash Julia uh, slash trees slash development and you can look at the readme file it has these links in there and so uh, if we go over to this uh, alpha sub Kali server uh, that's over here this is the page that we'll find and this is a very helpful page it gives the pull command for it over here uh, but rather than pull the file I, I think this is the best way to do it this docker run minus D, which is detached, uh, and map the port 2700 to, on the host to uh, 2700 on the container, and this is the image, alpha set uh, Kaldi dash en colon latest. And there's some other switches and such that can be done uh, with this docker run command. Uh, this is going to pull the uh, the image it's going to start to run it which is going to engage the docker file and I guess it'll pull the model over and uh, get everything all set up and so once you once you run this then uh, uh, if I, I do a docker PS I'm going to see that I indeed have this uh, alpha set called the EN latest uh, running. This container is running. It's been up for four hours now. And here are the ports. All right, so that's, that's a good thing. And then uh, I can run this. Then it recommends to run this. And you, you run it, and it, it doesn't work. In my case, it's going to work because I've done some other things. But if you do it, it's not going to work. Why isn't it going to work? Well, there's some other things that need to get done. And actually, I think if we go back over to, uh, to GitHub here, and I go back into, let's go to full screen here. Let's search for Vosk server, all of GitHub. This is the one we want. Jump to this one here, Alpha Sip Vosk Server. It's actually the 
this gives better instructions on how to do this. So uh, this is the command that uh, I ran. Or if you want to do it for Chinese or Russian or German, for Indian English. So if you have an Indian accent, uh, you can run the Indian English model and it will work much better for you. Uh, so anyway, this is what it says to run here. And here's the test it, it, it suggests here. And it's not going to run. And the reason it's going to not going to run is because you probably have to do a pip install of Pi Audio. And actually, I find that pip install does not work. So I do a conda install of Pi Audio. Uh, and the other thing that you're going to need is WebSockets. So I do a pip install of WebSockets also. Uh, that's the only thing that you need. Those are the only two packages you need to run these tests. And once you go to run these tests, you could do uh, run this one first here. And let's just run over to here and paste this in. And I'm in the right directory. I'm in the VOSC server WebSocket directory. Now, that's another thing. Uh, you have to put this software on your system in order to get this to work. So that's this statement here. So you've got to clone the VOSC server repository. Otherwise, you won't have this WebSocket directory. You won't have the test.py program. You won't have the test.wav file. But uh, once we do that, we see it runs fine. And then we can also do the uh, dot slash test under microphone.py and it will it'll work fine all right so that's uh, that's working and I've already modified this file here let's go into this file here and you can see here, uh, for example, that uh, it's going to check the, the length of how we call this. So when we called it here, where, where is it? Uh, see, when, they, when they're calling it here, they're passing this argument here, localhost colon, 2700 uh, that's actually the default so you can just do the dot slash test microphone dot pi you don't have to add this but if this is running on another on another server you can uh, put the other server and port number there and it will work fine uh, so you know if you've got a server with a better GPU or TPU that you want to run this on so that you don't overburden your machine, then uh, this is how you would call it with the other, the other host name. Uh, but in any case, I want to go down here to uh, So here's the uh, hello URI function here, and we'll see that that this was doing a print of aweightws.receive here. And so what I did was I put it into this variable, my text, and I commented, commented this out and then I printed it. So now we're getting this my text in front of the text. And what I'm hoping I'll be able to do is do a, a return of my text 
from this from this code and uh, have it uh, available for my Julie Julie uh, project. So uh, that's that's what I hope to do in the next video. But for now, uh, what we've done here is we have uh, started up. Let me go back to my. Here we go. What, what we've done here is this step one. Uh, we started ROSC uh, server uh, from a Docker in a Docker container, and then uh, we were able to run the tests. We cloned the test code. Uh, we did the things that we needed to do in order to. Uh, run the test code, which was to do a Conda install WebSockets and a, uh, I'm sorry, this actually I believe did not work with Conda. I think I had to do a pip install WebSockets uh, and I had to do a Conda install of Pi Audio. So I'll fix that in the documentation here. This was a pip install of WebSockets. For some reason, Conda did not find WebSockets. So it may be something that I did wrong with my Conda installation because normally Conda will look for PIP also, or maybe that's a, a setting that I have to uh, uh, figure out on that. But uh, anyway, it's, I'll, I'll update this so that it's a little bit clearer. And uh, that's about it. That's getting... Uh, the Vosk server running in a, a Docker container and then accessing it uh, programmatically uh, in Python. And uh, I thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.